One of the key components of a successful basketball team is the ability to bounce back from disappointment. That is what the Conquerors are dealing with right now after last, last week's loss here at the Conquerors gym to Concordia. While the offense played well and showed signs of massive improvement from last year, the defense did not, and foul trouble plagued them all game. It is with this game in mind that they prepare to host the second home foe of the season, the Dayspring Bible College Eagles. The eagle, as you know, is a protected species in the United States of America. Well, when the Eagles land in the Conqueror's Gym today, they will be on unprotected ground. The Eagles will hope to fly away with their sixth straight win, while the Conquerors seek to pull off the shocker. Last season, Dayspring left the Conqueror's Gym with a 26-point victory, but that was in the past. Let's see what this edition of the game of basketball has in store for us this evening. And here it comes. Conquerors and Eagles just a few short minutes away. This is Fairhaven Media's coverage of Conquerors Basketball. All right. Thanks for joining us here today. Fairhaven Media's coverage of Conquers Basketball. Luke Armacost alongside my partner Alec Mitchell excited to bring you every play of Conquers Basketball this season. First item of business, last week's loss to Concordia. The offense played well, the defense struggled a lot. Alec, what are you looking for? Some improvement in the Conquers today and how do you think the Conquers can improve off that kind of disappointing seven point loss? Now Luke, this is gonna sound cliche, but fundamentals. Every coach preaches fundamentals, and that's what killed the Conquerors this week. Re allowing offensive rebounds, not getting back on defense, just simple things. If, if the Conquerors can clean that up, with that offense playing like it is, we should have a great game tonight. Yes, and, 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 and another key, Coach uh, Spooner, Nolan Dele, 22 points last game. Now he had foul trouble, had to leave the game with seven minutes left, and only played about 15 minutes. We're going to need a lot of quality playing time from him. He scored 22 in about 15 minutes. That's more than any conqueror I've seen play in quite a while. On 50% shooting, Luke, I might add. Yes, 50% shooting. Now, the Conqueror's transition defense was suspect at best. So we're going to need that to step up a lot. And, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the guard play in, in a game where we're going to look to see the Conqueror stay on the floor, not get in foul trouble. Now, they're going to be tired. Second game of the year. This is going to be big for Coach Spooner in his second um, game as the coach of the Conquerors. The last coach of the Conquerors was Dan Armacost, who Coach Spooner coached under for many years. He's actually going to be in the crowd tonight. He's actually on deputation to go to be a missionary in Burma, but it's so good to see him on the sidelines here tonight. And like I said, we're about two and a half minutes from tip-off. It's the Conquerors. It's the Eagles. We're so happy you've decided to join us here on Fairhaven Media. Stick with us. In about two minutes, we'll have the starting lineups, your national anthem, and opening prayer. And then we'll put the ball in the air. Thanks for joining us here today.
Now it's time to meet the starters for tonight's game. First for the visiting Dayspring Bible College Eagles. At guard, a 6'1 junior from the Bahamas, number three, Daniel Adams. At guard, a 5'10 sophomore from China, number 14, Samuel Wang. At forward, a 6'1 sophomore from China, number five, Enoch Guo. At forward, a 6'1 sophomore from China, number 12, Tim Zhao. At forward, a 6'2 freshman from Ohio, number 23, Henry Hostetler. And now it's time to meet the starting lineup for your Fairhaven Conquerors. Starting at guard, a 5'9 junior from Saxonburg, Pennsylvania, number 23, Brennan Fry. Starting at guard, a six foot junior from Payson, Illinois, number 31, Joel Zadarski. At guard, a six foot freshman from Wichita Falls, Texas, number 11, Nolan Delhay. At forward, a 6'2 freshman from Ocala, Florida, number 51, Joshua Peel. The man in the middle, a 6'2 junior from Tyner, North Carolina, number 21, Joe Batrell. The Conquerors are coached by Nathan Spooner, and the Day Spring Eagles are coached by Dan Fontana. Got the starting lineups, the national anthem, the opening prayer, and now it's time to put the ball in the air. Conquerors and Eagles, game two of this season. The Conquerors coming in at 0-1. Last year, Dayspring beat Fairhaven by 26. Can they rewrite the script here tonight and come away with their first ever home victory against Dayspring? Ball in the air, tip control, Conquerors. In the home white, Dayspring in the road blacks. Dele. Down the lane, turns, spins, shoots, scores! First two of the game go to Nolan Delhay. Last week, Nolan went to the rack early and was rejected. It was not rejected, but he missed the, the shot, but an early bucket for him, that's exciting to see. Daniel Adams at the top of the key, gives off. For three. Pure shot from deep that was. Brennan Fry running point, bringing it up. Give to Delhay. Joe Petrell feeds the post, high post. John, John, Joe Petrell can't get the ball to fall. Good take though. Hostetler, right corner, stolen by Josh Peel. That freshman from Florida is a difference maker on the court. I would call him a pure natural. Delhay over the timeline. To the right, down the lane, sees an opening, and on the floor, whistle, foul, on the floor. It's gonna be Conqueror's ball. Nolan Delhay driving it early. It's gonna be Brennan Fry, Joel Zadarski to trigger the inbound here for the Conquerors. 3-2 early action, 18-39 left to play in our first half. They'll find right corner, Brennan Fry. Gives up to Delhay. he's open, he shoots. Short off. AP rebound. Big Two offensive ball. rebound. Woo! The Conquerors, Peel again, difference maker. A steal and a layup early. Down the lane, gets his man up in the air, and that's gonna be the first personal against Joel Zadarski. Henry Hostetler is going to the line. 
and we already have a timeout coached by Dan Fontana. Four to three conquerors early action. The foul against Joel Zdarsky is his first, and that is a key for the Conquerors tonight, Alec, is foul trouble. Yes, the offense looks a lot different when Nolan Delhay is off the floor, and that was probably the, a key to their loss last week. Nolan Delhay driving to the rack early, got into some offensive foul trouble, and it's nice to see that he hasn't committed one yet, but it'd be nice, to see, nice for him not to get those offensive fouls and stay on the floor. Yes, that's true. Conquerors looking animated on defense. Hostetler to the line. To the line, Hostetler shoots. Made it Ooh, in and out, there. back in. Luke, I saw him warming up before the game, and he looks like a really good player. It'd be nice to see if the, if the Conquerors can keep him under wraps. Makes both shots. Brennan Fry running the point here. Over the Delhay. He'll drive again down the lane. Layup shot foul. Two free throws coming for Nolan Delhay. That's three drives, and all three times something positive has happened. You said last game, get to the rack. Good things will happen. Exactly what happened there. And now, arguably, the, the Conqueror's best free throw shooter is at the Charity Donation Center for two free ones. Delhay dribbles, shoots, fills it. Tied up at five. I like, I like the two look here for the Conquerors with Joe and jo Joe Batrell and Joshua Peel. The Conquerors are heavy on their guard play. It'd be nice to see if they can start feeding down low, getting Josh Peel and Joe Batrell involved. Free throw good. Good roll. Now Josh Peel showed you he can bury the three ball. He hit two last game. Shot 50% from three. Yes, Over he's got a steal line. and a layup early. That's Hostetler. Fun player. Mid-range J is out. Joe Batrell soars up for the rebound. Big rebounding, rebounding, rebounding. A key for the Conquerors. Today. I believe Batrell led the Conquerors in rebounds last week. Nearly had a double-double. Joel Zadarski. Finds Brennan Fry. We gotta get a shot up, and that ball's stolen. Nah. Late in the shot clock, a bad decision, and here comes Adams down the floor. Layup shot, good. A talented player, Daniel Adams. I've seen him play for a couple years now in this installment of Conqueror's Eagles, and he's, he's just a good player. He really is. Delhay, mid-range, got it. Yeah. I like the Conqueror's offense. Is I he do. Perfect. Is he perfect from the floor so far? Yes, sir, he is. The one he missed, he got fouled on. Right corner, that's Wang. Top of the key to Zhao, and he'll hand off to Adams. They're working it around, a mid-range day is up, air ball. Air mailed it, and here comes Nolan Delhay. Leading by one. Let's see a score here from Delhay Down the lane. Kicks out to the right corner. Brendan Fry gets his man in the air. Drives down the lane. Doesn't shoot. Looking. Shooting. Missing. Oh. A good look from Brendan Fry. He'll want that one back. Good take, though. Yes, it was. Good defense, though, to stay down as the little man was pump faking. Brendan Fry, a really good player, a junior. Adams. Taking their time on offense here to start. Right corner, Hostetler ready for a three. He missed it. Rebound, Fry. And here he comes in transition. Down the lane. He'll shoot. He'll miss. Was looking for the contact. Nothing there for the rest to be able to blow a whistle on. And here comes Hostetler down the lane. Shoot, scores. That was another problem for the Conquerors last time they played was transition defense. Getting back, getting set. Yes. Seems like every time they made a big bucket, the, the, Concordia, e the Concordia Eagles, were, or they were back on the other end for a layup to steal all the momentum. And that passes far ahead and it's out of bounds. Three coming in here for Dayspring. Bryce Rehoff seeing first action. Kayla Murray 
along with Cole Rehoff. So two brothers and Caleb Murray seeing the court for the first time for day spring. Bryce Rehoff had a fantabulous game last time against the Conquerors there at day spring. They have got to keep him under control. They're taking Delhay off the ball. They're doing a good job of keeping him quiet here. Delhay wants to drive again. He'll float, shoot, and score. Man, they tried all they could to not let Delhay score, and what does he do? He fills it for two. He is really doing good. All 10 of the Conquerors points, and a turnover. And it's going back to the Conquerors. All right, you can tell the crowd is into this one early. The Conquerors are up by one. Here comes Brennan Fry. He'll feed off to Joel Zdarsky, doesn't pull it. I want him to shoot the ball. Right corner, Josh Peel ready for a three. Oh, he missed it in the rebound. And you want him shooting the ball though. He Here can connect. Murray. Yes, he can. Here comes Brennan Fry. It's a one-on-one, -on -one. got a score here down the lane. Passes off, shouldn't have passed it. It should be staying with the Conquerors, and yes, it is. Now, Brennan Fry, I think if he goes up with that, he probably gets fouled. Yes, he does. There's a lot of adrenaline when you get a steal in your head in that way. It's nice to be able to have a cool head and make the pass, but he, did, he had a good effort, tried to get it to Joel, and they keep possession. Inbounds play. We got two guys together. Should not, that, that was kind of a bad looking set there for the Conquerors. Delhay fouled. Oh, he traveled to the basketball. Thought they were going to get with the personal foul, but instead it's a traveling violation. Conquerors with a one point lead, four, six minutes into the game. Last time here against Day Spring, Bryce Rehoff scored 15. Some good looking ball movement. DJ Adams had 15 as well, and that's another steal for the Conquerors. Here comes Delhay. Right corner, Josh Peel, 4 3. Ah, oh, he missed it. And here comes DJ Adams down the court. Down, layup shot, no. Rebound, Fry. No contact. Here comes Brendan Fry. Down the lane. Lost the handle. Going back to the Eagles. Coach Spooner looking at his bench. Will we see some subs soon? Jacob Timonen will check in. First look at him here for the Eagles. Conquerors clinging to that one point lead. Now if they sure up some of these looks like early game jitters, they should be fine. Murray over the 10 second line. It's Adams in the right corner. Hands in his face from Delhay. There's Timonen. Mid-range J. Up, out, rebound, Joe Buttrell. Here comes Nolan Delhay. Down the lane, he lost it. And another turnover for the Conquerors. Down the lane, lost it. Good defense. Nolan Delhay getting a little out of control with those dives to the rack. It'd be nice to see a, a, some post-ups and see if he can work off the ball to get some good shots. I was talking with Coach Spooner before the game, and he said last game we learned that the defense just needs to vastly improve, step up their game, and we also need to stick to the offensive game plan. Nolan Delhay doing that. Right there is the game plan. He missed that time, but that is a recipe for success. Yes, it is. A really good defensive looking team out there for day spring. Conquerors need to get some, a little bit more ball movement, get some open looks, and then connect. Double on the ball, leaves an open shooter. In and out of the hole, no good. A break for the Conquerors, and here they come. Yeah, a little miscommunication on defense. Two men on the ball, leaves an open shooter here, and this, this team is good enough to not let you get away with that. He scores! I... He drives into a crowd and appears open and shoots and scores. Nolan Delhay is a natural on this court. Yes, he is. First 12 points for the Conquerors. Be nice to see some more guys get involved. Good pass. A Play beautiful good. play. Beautiful play. Yeah. Simple motion offense. For, look for the, for the visitors. And it's working. They have 11 points early. Uh, Coach Spooner's keys to today's game. They are down a starter. Tyler Cooper not able to... He hit it in, and a foul! 
Jay-Z, 4-3, listen to the roar from the crowd. He put it in and won. Jay-Z to the charity strike. Confidently took that shot. Wow. He put it in. Gotta love to see that. First made three of the game, I believe. I'm gonna, I, I had this on my notes here. Another one of Coach Spooner's keys to the game. You never believe who it was. We need Joel Zadarski to step up. And he just did. Three and one. They lead by five. Reha fakes down the lane. Pass through the hands. It is saved by JP off of the Eagles to Joel Zadarski to Nolan Delhe. Here they come down the lane. He's two. He shoots. He misses. Rebound to the Eagles. Oh, uh, a good opportunity there. There's Rehoff. Foul. Joe Batrell got him with the body there. Good call by the ref, and he'll have two free throws. The crowd buzzing from that made three and one by Joel Zadarski. You don't see that often by the Conquerors, but I just that, that's the greatest play. Get, you get three points, go to the free throw line, personal foul one of their players. It's, that's, a, that's great. Coach Spooner's keys against Dayspring, they bring a pressure defense. They'll meet you at half court. And we, the Conquerors, again, have to be, have to not let it get to them. They've got to stay composed, and they've got to pass it around, get the open shooter. Another uh, one of his keys was limit turnovers. Now, we've seen a few here to start. Um, the Conquerors definitely need to, do need to limit their turnovers here in this game. Second free throw is good for Rehoff. He buries both. Nolan Dele down the lane, two more free throws. If he keeps doing that, they're gonna foul all the Dayspring players out here in this first half. That's the fourth personal foul. When he's on the floor, you know good things will happen. Two for two from the strike, Nolan Dele. Four personals on Dayspring, it feels like a lot more though. Yes, it does. You are right. Coach Spooner's X factor for today's game was Josh Peel, and he's already making a difference here early action. 0 for 2 from 3, but he's getting boards, getting steals. Delhaye's first. It's good. Coach Spooner, another key, staying out of foul trouble. Huge for the Conquerors tonight. Yes, foul trouble. Nolan Delhaye not being on the floor. You got to keep him out of foul trouble. He buries both. Good bounce, good bounce on the free throw. Conquer's looking a little better on defense. Need to stay in front of the opposing players. Good hands by Josh Peel. Oh, he is a fun player to watch. Hard to believe, but Josh Peel did not play in high school. <laughs> when I heard that, I, 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 I didn't believe him. I did not believe him when he said that. He said he learned to shoot on his, on his backboard at home. He did not play on a team. Good look by Rehoff. A, a grab on the arm for Josh Peel, and that'll give Bryce Rehoff and one. Like I said, difference maker on the court for the Eagles. He is that good. Just simple motion offense. A mistake by Joel Zdarsky on the outside. Got, got beat by a fake. First free throw is up and no good. Nolan Delhey draws the contact again. Onto the court for the first time, Caleb Samples. He checks in for the first time and Tim Batrell. Both are juniors. No, Tim is a sophomore, Caleb is a junior. Tim Batrell, good defense, very fast. Caleb Samples, good three point shooter. And they'll give it off to Delhey. And they are pressuring Delhe with the ball. Off his knee, steal. Down they come. Stop, pop, air. Here they come, Nolan Delhe.
getting a little dicey here early. Zero with the foul. We've got to be careful with. Uh, and it's going to be. Good move Brennan's by Coach Spooner there. An extra good ball handler on the floor, Brendan Fry. Oh, he got around his defender. Down the lane. Passes off to Joe. Wide open, Nolan Dele. Ready for yet another three. Missed it. Rebound, Dayspring. It's going that way. Brennan Fry over the back. He knew it. We got to maintain our composure. Conquerors leading it by three. And it's, this is going to be a fun one. Really, yes. Into the game for, back in the game for the Dayspring Eagles is Enoch Guo taking the place of Bryce Rehoff. Six to four personal fouls in favor of the home team. Usually that number is different and a lot different. Good perimeter defense by the Conquerors. And there's Jay-Z. Down the lane he comes, layup shot, fouled. Two free throws coming. Good defense. He read that pass, took it down. Personal foul on the visitors and two free throws coming for Joel Zdarsky. You mentioned that X factor. He is, he is, he is, he is showing up tonight. Four points and now a chance to add two more. Joel Zdarsky to the free throw line. The first one is up and good. Conquerors are playing some really good basketball right now. Keeping their composure, they uh, were able to deal with the pressure, uh, with the full court pressure by the by the visitors, and now they are they have a open up a four point lead, chance to make it five. And he buries it. Coach Spooner is going to take a thirty second timeout, and boy, do the Conquerors need it! A life filled first ten minutes for the Conquerors. And the crowd's getting into it. Gotta love to see that. Yes. Use All it. right, this timeout is presented to you and sponsored by the newly reimagined Cafe at Fairhaven. With new and comfortable seating and a refreshed menu, the cafe is a great place to enjoy some good food. The new espresso machine has been a hit for the college students as well as the new lemonades they're selling. The Cafe at Fairhaven, coffee, chicken tenders, and a whole lot more. I love that cafe. It's good food. Have you ever tried their buffalo fries, buffalo chicken fries? Those really good. good. Buffalo chicken cheesesteak. The problem is my wallet tells me I shouldn't be buying that stuff, but um, my appetite says I should. I'll be stick with ramen. And most of the time, <laughs> I listen to my appetite. Ah, okay. It's a five-point game, 9.56 and ticking on the first half clock. Here's Day Spring. Swinging it around the horn. Rioff, pass inside. Good hands by Zadarski. Down the lane. Stolen by Delhay and another foul on number two on the Eagles. The That's Congress, Caleb Murray. Congress with some life on defense. Forcing steals on what is a very good team, but they are getting in their heads a little bit. You can tell Dan Fontana is not pleased with this part of the game because if you look at the scoreboard, if our media team could show us our scoreboard before this first free throw, we've got eight personal fouls on Dayspring to a four for the Conquerors, and that eighth foul means Nolan Delhaye's at the charity stripe for a one and one. I did not see this coming. And I, I really, I'm, I'm gonna really be excited. <laughs> so am I. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think Coach Dan Fontana f saw it coming either. No, Nolan Delhaye just taking control early. He got the first of the one and one. Earned the bonus. Oh, it's always big with those one and ones to earn the bonus. Dele ready for his second free throw that he earned by making the first. It's up, short, bouncing, good. Seven point lead. Nolan Delhay with 14 points early. Wow. 14 points. That. Meaning the rest of the team is combined for eight. The Conquerors have only hit one three, and that's a strength this year. I believe the only three of the game so far. 
Floated down the lane. Mansport layup, no, rebound. Here comes Tim Batrell. Right corner, Joe Batrell. Good find. Brennan Fry, ready for a three. A little long off the backboard and through, but it's oh. not going to count. Hit off the banister. I wish it counted. That should be worth four points. Definitely. Some, some rule changes for that one to count. In for the Conquerors is Josh Peel taking a seat as Tim Batrell. Tim Batrell gave us some life on the defensive end from the bench, and that's what the Conquerors need. Yes, he did. No turnovers and some nice finds, some nice defense. With the loss of Tyler Cooper to the flu today, that's going to be huge. Ben bench depth. Nolan Dele, he's got speed. A kind of a broken play, a lot happening there. It ends up in a day spring too. Five point lead now. Josh Peel bringing it. He stepped out of bounds. Oh, oh, ah, that's the worst. Turnover. Unforced turnovers, they kill, they kill yes, you. They do. Momentum obviously favoring the visiting team now. As they seem to settle in. Five point lead, a stop here would be big. They're taking their time on offense. And you know what happens when you do that? You get, you get good looks. Yes, you do. The defense for the Conkers has played well. You don't want some of these shooters getting into a rhythm. A three from the right corner. High Archer is good. Wow. Henry Hostetler, the freshman forward. They're obviously trying to get him open. He is a very good player. Brennan Fry, layup shot. Good! Oh, oh, right. Wow. Hey, he saw the lane, squirted through the defenders, laid it up that and was in. A, a, brave, a brave move there, going into some big bodies down low. I tell you, Henry Hostetler's filling it up right now. Goodness, he is a good player. Two point game. Foul. Man, I think Nolan Delhay is in Grant Murray's head. He keeps fouling him. Delhay to the 14 line. 14 points for Henry Hostetler. Lead nine personals on the visitors' day spring. What a difference a good point guard can make. Oh, oh going to get the roll. His first missed free throw. Definitely want to make sure Hostetler can't get the ball. Good defense by the Conquerors. Shoot the ball, Jay-Z. Shoot it. Right corner, JP. He'll shoot. Miss, rebound, oh, Joe had his hands on it but couldn't grab it in. Another turnover? Keep turning it over. Running All right. Running point now. He'll bring it up. How's about a nice Joel Zdarsky three on this possession? Instead of Brendan Fry mid-range, Jay, he missed. Rebound Adams. That was a good shot. Brendan Fry has been struggling early this season. Nice to see him get into a rhythm. Good ball movement by Dayspring. Soft bounce, tie ball game, 24 each. 5-0 run for Dayspring. That's his third foul. That is Grant Murray's third personal foul. Del, he's slow to get up. That's scary. Oh, no. Slow to get up. Rolled his ankle. He's put the conquerors on his back this half. He's staying in. He wants to, at least. 
as the crowd quiets. Ten personal fouls. And then Fry's going to have to step up and carry this team as the point guard. If we zoom in on the Conquerors uh, bench right now, you can tell Nolan Delhey is, is pleading with his coach and his team. And he's going to stay in. And coach Spooner is going to let him stay. He's in some major discomfort. The crowd appreciates the effort. I mean, these Conquerors are tied with the Dayspring Eagles with six minutes left. That in itself is a minor victory that you know Coach Spooner is going to use this fact that they're tied right now to help these Conquerors. They can win this game. I'd say the, a really big part of what I see on the scoreboard, 10 personals to four. Getting to the rack, getting fouls. This is looking good. Problem for the Conquerors is a short bench. They're going to have to, they're gonna have to be, um, be conditioned out there because most of the starters are going to have to stay. As he misses the first. I wonder if Nolan should be in the game. He's obviously still it looks, limping. It looks like Coach Spooner is going to take him out for Levi McGovern, the freshman from Alaska. Good, he made the second one. Good, good shot. He's limping off the court, not looking good for Nolan Delhay. There he is, trying to spearhead the Conqueror's offensive attack. And he might sit out the rest of the first half, but that would help him get that ankle feeling a little better. Who's going to step up for the Conquerors? Henry Hostetler with the ball. Good feed down low. Very good ball movement. Three ball on the way, good. Sam Wang for three, and it's a two-point lead. I think that's Day Springs' first lead of the night. Pass inside, Joe Betrayal, layup shot, gone! Take that, at, Eagles, take that! We're tied in 27. First look at the Conquerors pick and roll tonight, and it worked to perfection. 5.25 left to play. The crowd is alive. 4-3, high, Archer, air, ball. Couldn't even find rim from three. There's Joel Zdarsky. I'd like to see Jay-Z shoot a three. My wish will not come true. JP, find Fry. Don't step out of bounds again. Don't step out of bounds again, please. Down the lane, heels, pass to Joe. Get his man up, shoot, score! What a move! Joe Petrell for two! Brennan Fry and Joe Petrell putting on a show. Pick and roll. Hostetler puts it on the floor, pushes off the glass. He's, he's a talented scorer. My goodness, yes he is. Imagine he, if the Conquerors can clog the high post, not let him get it, not let him get the ball. Jay-Z a deep right side three ball. Missed it. Couldn't quite save it. Confident take. That was, that, was a, that was a deep three. Yeah. I like Joel shooting the ball, but uh -huh. we got to keep it in the doable range. <laughs> right. Not everyone is Steph Curry. Adams rips it down the lane. Almost lost it. Bryce Rehoff up, in. We got to look for the Conquerors to stay composed. You're down by two. That does not mean you need to speed anything up. Do what you've been doing. McGovern for three. Off, back, rim, no good. He's a good shooter good, too. His first shot as a Conqueror was a made three last week. Couldn't connect on that one though. A deep three. Missed it. Oh, the offensive board, they kill. Turn around, shoot, miss. Yeah, I, he got him with the body. Got him with the body. So yeah, Levi McGovern can stretch you from three. Brendan Fry obviously can hit it. Joel Zdarsky can too. And JP, now he's 0 for three, so you don't want him to shoot too much. Henry Hostetler, a freshman, seems to be able to way more composure than that. A naturally, a talented player. And he is most, he has carried the, he has carried the Dayspring uh, Eagles early. He is filling it up. I mean, I think that's 18 points for Hostetler. He's at the line now. We're in so number 23. That's 16 for Hostetler. Chance to make it 18 here. 17. Pure on the first one. Joe Betrell, two personal fouls. He's going to have to sit. 
Certainly, yeah. Three minutes left. I'd like the Conquerors just to go to the locker room with, with a manageable game. See if Nolan Delhay can get, get back. Brennan Fry also wearing number 23. Bringing the ball up. Tim Patrol for three. Missed it. We need to stop on defense. Keep an eye on Hostetler. No good. Tim Batrell, probably a smart foul. We're not in very bad foul trouble, and you don't want an easy two. And you're now, hoping Coach Spooner will talk to his team about I, uh, not letting um, Hostetler get the ball in the high post. That's where they're trying to find him, and he is just cashing in on the open looks. Rehoff, a good free throw shooter, though. He's ready for the first. It's we up. Have, we haven't seen it's a lot short. of Rehoff this half. It's short off the rim. No good. Missed free throws by the opposition. You'd love, you'd love to see that. Rehoff ready for the second one. Good it's box up. out on this one. Missed again. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, got the rebound. JP. Back to Zdarsky. Shoot the ball. Shoot the ball, son. Right corner. Caleb Samples. Brennan Fry. Good passing. There he is. He'll shoot. Short off the rim. Caleb Samples can't buy one here to start the season. And he read the pass and stole it. Tim Patrol to Brennan Fry. We need to score here bad. Not a smart pass by Hostetler. You got JP in the corner. Doesn't pull it. Joel Zdarsky, 4-3. Missed it. Oh. Rebound, Tim Petrell. Into Josh Peel. Oh, weird shot there. Got his board back. Gives off to Jay-Z. Pass to Josh Peel in. Scores! Oh. That's, that's great passing by the Conquerors. Wow. Is that Peel's first bucket of the game? It is. Right corner, 4-3. Missed it. Rebound. Up. Oh. Fouled in one. Hostetler took the contact, threw it up and in. Hostetler killing the Conkers. That's Josh, Joshua Peel's second. Seven personals on the Conkers now, getting a little winded. He pays off the charity. Love to see the Conkers go back to the pick and roll that was working earlier. Joe Patrell off the floor though. Samples, catch, shoot, three in the air, no good. Conkers have gone ice cold from three. Lost it, here comes Brennan Fry. Takes Down the, the lane. Oh man. A lot of contact, no call instead of travel. Going back to day spring. We need a stop and a score and Hostetler right corner, Adams doesn't pull, step back, three in the air, it's good. Excellent pump fake. You can tell Jay-Z doesn't want to shoot the three ball. End line, it's going back the other way. It's going back the other way. That way. That way. That way. Day spring coach don't like it, but I definitely do. It's going back to the Conquerors. From where I'm standing, it looked like he saved it, but the ref made his decision. Same here, but hey, as we discussed last game, the boys in the black and white make the call, not me. Jay-Z, right corner, doesn't pull. Bad pass. It's going to the Conquerors. Nope, it's going to Dayspring. Definitely a makeup call by the ref. 
That was a, that was a makeup call. <laughs> if you want to keep your eye on Hostetler. The refs are discussing this. I haven't seen this that often. The crowd's going to erupt either way. I mean, it's either going to be Conqueror's ball with 30 seconds left down by eight or Dayspring ball. And it's staying with Dayspring. It looks like they've settled on that conclusion. Like you said, Luke, it looks like it could have been a makeup call. But regardless, it is going to be Dayspring ball. A stop here would be huge. Now yeah. a bucket on the other end, even bigger. We'd like to see the Conquerors get a stop and hold for the last shot. There's Adams, four, a three. Short off the rim. Oh, he couldn't get the offensive rebound. Turn, since shoot, miss. Rebound, another offensive board. Got him up, got it in. 18 seconds left in our first half. Down to 15 seconds. Brennan over the timeline. 12 seconds, down the lane. He traveled with the basketball. One thing that I like that the, I know the Conquerors are doing well, you see Dayspring Brent, Day Springs bench getting feisty. That's a good thing. <laughs> Six seconds left, five, to end the first half with a bucket. Adams, step back, three in the air. In and out, no good. Wow, I mean, that was that, was that close to going in. 41 to 31 at the half. Not a bad first half for the Conquerors, seeing that their best player did have to depart with injury. We'll see how the ankle's holding up. Alec is going to go talk to the coach. All that is coming up in about five minutes. Bear with us as we have our halftime show coming up for you in just about five minutes. Thanks for joining us. This is Fairview Media's coverage of Conquerors basketball. Two, five. 
Wildy. The scoring for the second half was was good for the Conquerors. It was kind of spread out, but we're going to look for Joel Zdarsky, Levi McGovern, and Joshua Peel, your three main three-point threats, along with Nolan Delhay, to knock down threes. Now, if one or two of those goes in, this score looks a little different. Yeah. Of course, a, one of the biggest plays of the first half was the three ball that went in and the foul from Joel Zdarsky. Huge play for the Conquerors. We need more plays like that if we're going to get over this hump because this Dayspring offensive attack is just deadly. Yeah. Who's the player on Dayspring that you're like, uh-oh, we got to stop him? 100% Henry Hostetler. He leads all scorers for Dayspring, and he is doing an exceptional job on the floor. Coach said they have a plan. They're going to try to shut him down. He is a really good player. It's nice to see somebody get, get, in, get in his head and try to shut him down in the second half. One thing that plagued Dayspring all first half was the foul trouble. They... They got, they got up to 10 personal fouls through just the first half, so the Conquerors need to attack the rim, whether that be with the big guys or Nolan, if he is going to give it a go. The Conquerors and the Eagles, it was an awesome first half. Yeah. We're expecting nothing but better here in the second. We hope you'll stay tuned here on Fairhaven Media's coverage of Conquerors basketball. Is my... Ten point game at halftime. Looks like it'll be day spring ball or Conquerors ball. I can't tell yet. It belonged to day spring. Nolan Delhay still walking it off on the bench. We'll see if he gets subbed in. Nolan Delhay is a very tough player. So if he's given the opportunity to come in, he's going to take that at a moment's notice. A little bit of motion from Dayspring, and they pay it off with a mid-range J. Really good shot by number two. These first four minutes are huge for the Conquerors as they look to keep the momentum going their way. Caleb Murray with the first bucket of the second half. Bad pass there. Joel Zdarsky. Gets the steal, takes the three. Oh, that would have that been That would have nice. been momentum. That would have been momentum. Oh, the no-look pass. Oh, what a pass. Inside layup good. Now, the, the Dayspring Eagles, are, they'll do that to you. They'll pass quick. You've got to be ready for those fast passes. And he got his miss back. Top of the key, Brennan Fry. Fresh shot clock. You 
Got your man in that corner, Joel Zadarski. Down the lane, mid-range Jay, up, out, rebound Dayspring. We need to score and we need to score bad. Instead, a transition layup is up and good. Ah, it can happen like this last week against Concordia. A slow sec second half start led to a lead for the Concordia. For Concordia. Tigers are down 16. It really happened in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a second, really. Joe Betrell up, in and out. Oh, oh. my. Tim got the nice. miss, back to Fry. Doesn't go up with it. Instead, he'll put it on the floor and air ball. Uh, the Conquerors just don't have it right now to start the second half. They need to get a stop on defense, settle down on offense, long pass up ahead, stolen by Betrell. Here's the chance, he's gotta slow this down. Behind his back, passes off to Brennan Fry. All right, let's get a score. He'll stop, he'll pass to Betrell, floater up, in and oh, out, they can't buy one. Conquerors have said several shots that hung on the rim and did not go down. Tim read it like a book. He opened it like a novel, a G.A. Henty or something. Here comes Brendan Fry down the lane. Right corner, Joe beautiful pass, set him up for a three. Short off the oh, rim, no Oh, the Conquerors are stone cold. Brendan Fry comes up hobbling. And D.J. Adams will settle. The Conquerors, they're cold. What they need is they need Nolan Dolan Dele, but he's still walking off that ankle injury behind the Conquerors bench. You know he wants to come in bad. Up, under, no, got his miss back. Turn, spin, shoots, no. Brendan Fry has it. Joe Petrell has it. Now it's Joel Zdarsky. Here comes Brendan Fry. Tim Petrell doesn't shoot it. Right corner, Josh. Peel. It's a bad Loses pass, it's a bad pass. Bad pass. Couldn't see it from where I was standing, but. The Conquerors have settled in on the defensive side, but they look uncomfortable at best on the offensive side. Don't have a bucket the first three and a half minutes. Not even a point. Somebody's got to attack that on the perimeter. He can knock down that three. Dancing with Petrell down the lane. Behind. He missed. Shot clock goes off, but he did get it off before. JP layup, no. Gets his miss back, puts it up, puts it in. Josh Patrell, the first bucket for the Conquerors. Peel. I, my bad, Josh Peel. Joshua Peel. Joshua Peel, yes. Henry Hostetler being tightly guarded by Timothy Patrell. Hostetler working around screens. I don't know what he was looking at there, but Joe Petrell kind of just sat there. And Tim Petrell doing an excellent job. Kenny he knocked on the three. For three. Oh, missed it badly. Good effort to save it, but right to Dayspring. Yeah. Pretty move. Everything going down for, for Dayspring right now. That was another transition bucket. Our bigs were not set. Joel Zdarsky, step in three ball. This one needs, ooh. Uh. Caleb Samples will check in. Offense for defense on that move by Coach, Spoon Coach Spooner. Caleb Samples brings the offense. Tim Betrell brings the defense. Good job by Tim Betrell the, the time he was on the court. Joel Zdarsky will pick up Hostetler. Delhay still hobbling behind the bench. Mid-range, Jay, turn, spin, shoot, scores. He's, he's good score. He's a good score. Goodness, they are just dropping in everything. They've started this half on a 22-2 run. Joe Betrell lost the dribble. So a turnover by the Conquerors. They, they're, they're, the day springs on a 22 to two run. Got past his man, goes up, scissors it up. No, rebound good. Defense! 
Timeout called by Coach Spooner. Dayspring is celebrating. Um, and you know, and you, you gotta think, it's not as jovial on that sideline if Nolan Delhaye's back in the game. And it looks like he's come around to the front of the bench. Dayspring has opened up a 22 point lead. That's gonna be tough to come back from. It's happened before. Yes, it has. The, the crowd Bulls, below. I believe the Bulls were down 22 to one earlier this week and Ouch. came back and won it. Which is not something you can say often about the Bulls. <laughs> the Bulls won. Wow. Yes. 22 to one. That's that's crazy. But the three ball, it can happen if a team gets hot. Nolan Dele is talking to Coach Spooner. Something's got to change on the offensive end and on the defensive end. Now it's now at this point it is sounding cliche, the term you used earlier. But Delhay is just a difference maker on the court. The Concordia Eagles have opened up a went on a 14 to two run in the first six minutes and nine 24 seconds. 24 to two run. No, 24. 14. You're right. 14 to yeah. two run. Sorry, my math was never exquisite. Let's just say that. What was a 10 point ball game at halftime has now ballooned into a 22 point lead. The crowd is about as quiet as it's been all night. Delhay wearing a brace on that right on that right ankle. He's back in the game. That rise here is for that man, Nolan Delhay. Let's see what he brings on the court here. They're down 22. A bucket here would be big. Yes, it would. No fouls for either side in the second half. Wow. Delhay for three, short off the rim, rebound, day spring. Good looking shot by Nolan Delhay. Had to spin, just a little short. I'm guessing he's gonna make his next one. No, he missed, here comes Nolan Delhay. big step on defense, here they come. He has the ability to move it up the court quick. Mid-range, short. Popped out of there, saved by Zdarsky. 4-3, oh, in and out, he, can't buy, he can't buy one. None of the Conquerors can. Have they only hit one three tonight? One, that's right. Very cold on offense. Delhi an obvious discomfort. There is a lid, a plastic lid there on the sure basket. There sure is. They're getting stops on defense. That's big. Here comes Delay. Let's see what he can do. Stays with the Conquerors. It's going to be white ball. Delay inbounds. Well, oh, stolen. Brennan needs to run to get the ball. That's a terrible play by Fry. It's the lane lane shot good. Coach Spooner, and there is someone running to the bench right now. Because you got to have effort. Conquerors have two points this second half. A turnover. Good hands by Delhay. Gets the board as well. Blessing arrow gives the ball to the home team. Fry, after a few disappointing trips down the floor, he'll, he'll be subbed out. Coach Spooner is obviously a little disappointed with his, his, his point guard and his leader. I mean. Yeah. Delhay brings it down. <laughs> Working on Caleb Murray up top. Mid-range mid day. day. Got it. Yes. Bring some of those together. You'll start hearing the crowd a little bit more. The yeah. Conquerors will start playing a little better. Inside, Guo, layup shot. No, here comes Delhay. Let's get a bucket, boys and white. Let's get a bucket. Delhay's the guy to do it. Into Joe. Fires, and, and one. And one. Put him in the hall. Put him in the hall. Put him in the hall of fame. Drew some defenders passing inside. Strong finish by Joe Batrell. He is just getting better and better as the season goes on. 
Brennan Fry, a quick check back in for Caleb Samples. Obviously a trip where Coach Spooner just needed to clear up some things. 59 to 35. It's up. It's off back rim, bouncing good. Other old. It should be 59 38, I think. I'm wrong. Strong board for Peel, nearly. 38, eight. Free ball up, no good. The Conquerors have gone cold from everywhere on the floor. They have not hit, connected on a three this second half. They've only connected on one in the game. A little scoreboard issue. We got that right in and it's 61 to 38. Through the hands of Betrell. You tell nice Dylan. pass though. Offensive foul. Charging foul. Offensive foul, it's going back to the Conquerors. Dan Fontana ain't happy right now. Joel Zdarsky stepped in, call, offensive. But a good, good take by Joel Betrell. Stop, pop, three in the air, short throw. Joel Zdarsky has it. Back to Nolan. I'll settle with a fresh right corner shot peel. Ready for a three, short off the rim. Peel. So close on all of his shots. It's a good shot. And, and these were the shots that were falling against Concordia. Full timeout taken by Coach Dan Fontana. Okay, the Conquerors are getting a little life. 23 point lead now. Just seems like uh, Dayspring cannot miss in the second half. This timeout is presented to you by Rough and Tough Lawn Care, affordable and quality lawn care and leaves and snow shoveling services. Rough and Tough Lawn Care, making lawns great again. Rough and Tough Lawn Care is also the proud sponsor of the Rough and Tough Lawn Care Player of the Game, which will receive a gift certificate to the cafe at Fairhaven, coffee, chicken tenders, and a whole lot more. We will decide on the Rough and Tough Lawn Care Player of the Game right after the game, so stick with, stick with us once the final horn sounds. And at the, at the moment, who would you pick for the player of the game? This is a hard one because you want to go with someone who's seen a lot of playing, seen a lot of the court. Um, yeah. But the obvious decision is, again, Nolan Delhe. Yeah. Who's, he's just a difference maker because he, come, he arrived on the court, and I know they've only outscored him by six in that time, but he's scoring, getting steals. So we need the Conquerors to really step it up here in this next couple minutes. Yep. That lead just got to shrink slowly but surely. Love to see the Conquerors go back to the pick and roll. Seemed to work at the end of the first half, near the end of the first half. Credit the Conquerors for not letting themselves get out of it. Sometimes when a big league gets opened up, a team will just kind of give up a little bit, but they are out there, they are fighting. Just an, an obviously better team in these, in this day spring, in these day spring Eagles. Killer. Goodness. For three. Cole Rehoff with a three. Nolan Delhaye. Be curious to know what the shooting percentage was the second half. Seems like everything has gone down. Miscommunication on the pick and roll look there. Henry Hostetler has been quiet. The defense has been solid on him. <laughs> like you said, that lid on the net, it's for real. Oh my. 
I'm telling you, it's a lid on the net. Yeah. It's just nothing's yeah. going in. Seven points the second half. It's, oh, good defense. And, and it happens to every team. It just stinks that it has to happen now for the Conquerors. Keep in mind, the Conquerors have a very short bench. Most of these players are going to be are going to be very tired after being on the court most of the game. Feed to Hostetler inside. He'll body up. That's a good bucket. 30. 30. Turn, spin, shoot, scores. Brennan Fry. Joe Petrell. Joe Petrell, my bad. I just got back from checking the scores, and it looks like Henry Hostetler has 27 points. Just seems like every time he touches it, it's going to be a bucket. Air ball is a floating jump shot, and here comes Nolan Dele. In and out of the oh, hole, no good. Goodness. Two free throws coming, and I tell you, even a play like that, that hit every part of the rim and somehow fell out. Goodness. They're, every team goes through stretches like yeah. this. I mean. Getting to the line is big when you're in a slump, though. With Nolan on the court, they're getting better looks. Yeah. They're just not hit, hitting them, a I guess. A little mis miscommunications on the uh, pick and roll. Trying to get the ball into Joe Batrell. Who, I might add, has had a very good game tonight. Joe Batrell. A couple turnovers, but he's scored the ball well, rebounded well. It's... It's interesting because the Conkers are down a handful right now. Yeah. And there's no good getting around that, but I do appreciate. Uh, you can tell the crowd knows it's not like they're getting, they're not getting, they're maybe a little bit outplayed, but they're not getting totally outclassed. Yeah. It's not been that type of game. It's just been a game where they've Delhi missed shots. has been sat. First game by foul, second game by injury. It'd be great to see if he could uh, just play a whole game. I, I, he needs to, he's just. We Good keep saying it. There, he's a difference maker. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's just a difference maker. Oh, I almost read it. Brennan Fry a little too short on the jump there. Mid-range day. No. Oh, it, it bounced over him. That's been the kind of night for the Conquerors. I mean, I tell you what. Mid-range day. Wow. <laughs> Here comes Nolan Delhay. Well, he shot the ball. Ring me up a right corner three ball. There it is. He catches, he shoots. Off right rim, down the lane. It's gonna be a foul on Josh Peel, kind of a hook, a little bit of a hook. So uh, he's gonna get two shots. Seven minutes left to play. Kind of wonder why the day spring coaches would be keeping his best players on the floor, but you got to remember that Henry Hostetler is a freshman. He is really good. Get some, play, get some experience and playing time. And right now, you see three kind of subs, and then the two mainstays, which is Adams and Hostetler. Yeah. So I think what he's doing is he's just putting his two best players out there and then pairing them up with players who don't get as much playing time. Yeah. What the Conquerors need to do, frankly, is take advantage of the lack of skill that some of these bench players have. Good find inside. Joe Batrell doing a fantastic job tonight. Well, they he called a carry on the the, the Day Spring Eagles. That's not a very um, it's not very called very often. Yeah. But it, when they see it, they do call it. So a good call Probably by the refs. Delhay a deep right side three. Brick. Rebound. Fry. Oh, he smashed it to Adams. And here comes Hosteller. Down the lane. Rises up for a two-hand slam. The answer on the other end? No good. Wow. A little bit of a football throw. Pulled down near the end zone. Play up good. As the lead is 31, don't know why uh, the day spring coach is leaving his best players in. Another three. Big time shot from Nolan Delhay. You know, the Conkers are still playing tight. Yeah, I don't know what he tried there, but that's definitely a carry. 
Rafael Pineda. 5'7 guard from Angeles City, Philippines. He commits the turnover. And going to be a timeout up for Dayspring. Um, so they called another carry on Dayspring. It's going back to the Conquerors. This has been a tale, th these two halves, it's been a tale of basically not hitting open shots yeah. and hitting open shots. I mean, uh -huh. it's as simple as that. You can say, well, Nolan Delahaye wasn't able to be on the court the whole time. Well, that's true. And you can also say, well, the Conquerors really just messed up because they're best players off the court. No, you can't make excuses. It's, it's a problem of they were getting good looks. Okay, yeah. so Coach Spooner is going to go to the drawing board, and he's going to say, okay, all right, in practice, you can knock these shots down. So in games, we're going to need to see a little bit of let's knock these shots down. Okay, we didn't play bad. We haven't played bad so far. It's not over yet. Mm -hmm. It's not over yet. Kind of is, but it's not. 15 points in the second half for the home side. And so... 33 what, in the second half? Yeah, 3-3. Th 33 three, three. to 15 in the second half, and obviously so, a big lead opened up. Yeah, and it, it, it's, it's crazy. With, with this day spring team, they showed you how quick things can get out of hand. I mean... Yeah. Took I mean, advantage of mistakes. It was, it was just... Well, not uh, only mistakes, though, just missed, a lot of missed shots. And then the and buckets on the other end. Good well, the conquerors for a good show, though. The five on well. the court for the Day Spring Eels. We got Enoch Guo, Jacob Timonen, Daniel Adams, Sam Wang, and also Rafael Pineda. They bodied up Nolan Delhay, and so it's going to be a foul. Delhay has 21. Pass inside, in stolen by Delhay. Up the floor to Joel Zdarsky, and one. Good find and good bucket by Joel Petrell. I mean, Joel you saw Daniel Adams him. come through like a condor. He came in with bad intentions. And he left with worse intentions because now he's mad because he got the foul and Joel Zdarsky made him pay. Yes, sir. And Daniel Adams was looking to chop something. I mean, he was came in with a vengeance. Free throw up. Good. Nails it. Pineda, floater in the lane, it's up and in. Seems like everybody on this day spring bench, there's just no weaknesses on this bench. Everybody can score. In the lane, tries to, Pineda, ball comes out to Pineda, he brings it up. You could tell Delhay was not, was hoping that oh, Joe would collapse. Comes Dolan Delhay down the court. I heard major skin on that shot. They're not calling it. Oh, it's rejected out of there by by uh, JP. A lot happened on that last play. We're going to leave that be for the time being. Joe Betrell spins in the lane, passes off to JP, lays it up and lays Good it in. play by Joe Betrell. Joshua Peel, the recipient of a very good assist. Here comes Delhay. Down the lane, layup shot foul. It's a foul. I tell you, when Delhay gets that head of steam, you either got to step in and take the harm to get the charge, or you're going to get whistled for a foul. Now, he looks flabbergasted, but it's a foul. I mean, yeah, you stood in his way and kind of ran with it. That, that's well, a foul every time. Five now. This game most likely over, but Conker's fought hard. Well, you got to love that they're fighting hard. Yes, sir. You don't, I mean, yeah, you fought hard, great. But you got to fight to the end, obviously. And you're seeing that from Delhay. I mean, he is showing leadership right now. Yeah. 
pass inside, Joel Zanarski scoops it up and in. Got it. They're gonna extend pressure defense here. Daniel Adams was looking for that block again. Kicks it out. Intercepted they by stepped Fry. in front of the passing lane. Long pass, Delhe. Down the lane, scoops up. Foul. Two shots coming. <laughs> His drives are so hard to defend. Right. Oh, man. I would have loved, I know I keep saying it, I would have loved to seen this guy on the court for. I've actually played against him, and I agree. I tried to guard him once. He went under, up and under, reversed it. Beautiful spin, and he's a very good player. The problem with trying to defend Delhay is you play him close, he'll get around you. You play him far, he'll drill the three. There's no, I mean. Yeah. Grant Murray and Caleb Murray. Check back in. As well as Bryce Rehoff. Delhay drills another one. No look to run this clock out. Definitely, uh, Dan Fontana is a good coach. He'll, he's he told him, settle it. I mean, you you have, yeah. you have no business even taking a shot till there's five seconds left. So, I mean, a missed shot with 10 seconds on the clock is a win for the Conquerors at this point. Like that. I mean, that's a win for the Conquerors. And there's a foul on number three. He picked up his fourth personal foul. Daniel Adams a little out of control. I wonder if he'll head to the bench soon. We haven't seen a lot of him tonight. He scored the ball a lot last game, and he just doesn't seem to be a big part of this offense. And another well, a big part of this offense, but he hasn't scored that much. Mm -hmm. Another key there, I mean, obviously, they're in the one and one. Yeah. So now you're ba I mean, that basically just handed them a free point. I mean. Yeah. All right, it's a 20-point game. We need, we, we need quick stops. Yeah. So you look for the Conquerors to extend the pressure. Looks like Seven Hostetler. threes would give us the lead. <laughs> But or an offensive rebound. He missed <laughs> it. No bucket there. Henry Hostetler has at the bench. I mean to that come ball in. was bouncing like a kangaroo off that rim and it still didn't yes, it go was. in. Delhe. Foul. Dan Fontana is not appreciating the ref work here. I think his, his point is that the fouls are nine to one. But the, pro the problem is, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of body. I'm seeing some crazy play from Dayspring. They're picking them up. It's not, it's not like the refs are like, oh, let's give, you know, they're, they're calling what they're seeing. You'd think you would relax a little bit with a 20 point lead, but they are no. really getting after it. <laughs> And I think that's a good sign. Mistakes. That is a good sign for this Conquerors team because you're seeing, I mean, Del Delhay is just, is a good player. So they're trying to find a way to defend him. They pick up a foul. That's a missed defense. I mean, you, yeah, I mean. Checking into the game is Enoch Guo. This is a one and one for Delhay. Cash is in. Credit Delhay for playing through the pain in the second half. He's obviously, he's been grimacing here and there, but still out there and still making things happen. You feel good. Full court pressure. Conquerors aren't gonna give up till the, till the horn. He took the harm. And he gets gonna get two free throws. The Conquerors were that close to having a steal. So to the free throw line goes Henry Hostetler. He started tonight's game as a freshman, wearing number 23. 31 points for Hostetler. Wow. I mean. That man just looks really good. You could say the same thing about Dayspring, but a coach can't plan for someone like that. Yeah. With that size and that ability, I mean, yeah. he knocked down threes.
and I don't know what Dayspring's doing. They're running full with three minutes left. We've seen a lot of Nolan Delhi on the free throw line. That's his fourth foul, and either way, it's... Coach Booner jokingly asking for the bucket to just count because, you know, cuz. And Dan Fourth Fontana foul. still not pleased with the refing. Fourth tonight. foul on Grant Murray. You know what the Conquerors are showing me right now, Alec? They're showing me that this team, it's not gonna quit. This is a young team, this is a young Conquerors team. They're starting two freshmen. And no seniors on this, no seniors on this squad. Enoch Guo picks up the foul. Nolan Delhaye's first personal of the game. Went for the ball, got a little bit of arm. Go pure and first shot. And gets the bounce in the second shot. Lead That's back it. up to 20. Two minutes remaining. And a timeout. Well, okay. So, Coach Spooner, what is he telling his team right now? I, I don't know. I mean, just keep fighting hard. Maybe set up some plays. They might, there might be a chance to practice some plays that they haven't tried yet. Mm -hmm. But definitely just finish out the game. Don't lose their heads. And play two minutes and 30 seconds of good basketball. So with the with the relative, I mean, relative adversity they've kind of faced this game yeah. with the loss of, I mean, obviously the loss of a star player will do it to you, obviously. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's played more than last game, but he's still not played. Oh, yeah. You know, that 12-minute that block where he was not on the court. I mean, it was the difference maker. It really was. Yeah. They were tied when he left, and when he came back, they're down 27. Now they're down nope. 20, which shows you that the day spring has kind of figured out how to defend him and also – the 12 minutes, it seemed, were, I mean, it seemed like there was a plastic lid on that rim. There sure was. And every, I mean, you saw stuff spinning everywhere and then coming out. I mean, you can't plan for stuff like that. <sighs> yeah, it's just how basketball works. Game of, see, it's a game of runs. And, and Coach Spooner, of course, can't, can't prepare for the fact that the guys, okay, you got Josh Peel, Joshua Peel. Yeah. He can knock down the three, so it's not, Coach Spooner isn't like, stop shooting. He's like, yes, he can get on fire. Nolan Dele's missed a handful of threes. Yeah. Uh, Joel Zadarski can't buy one from three. I noticed last game that, that the Conquerors seemed that they were pretty reliant on the three and didn't go down low very much, but we saw a lot of looks for Joe Betrell. They did a great job getting him open, getting some high percentage shots down low. I was, I was, I was, that's a, one good takeaway from this game. That right there is... is it's a dead giveaway because from my angle, here I am up top on the track here at the Conqueror's Gym. Great view of the court, yeah. great view of tonight's game. That three was straight on. It just didn't go in. I just. Don't know what happened there, but. Looks like there will be a do-over. No, the Conquerors get the ball. No, it's an, it was an illegal move. You can't move. Foul. And one. Oh, he missed it. So, so you see here, when, when, it's, when, it's, a, when it's not a made shot, you can't run the end line. If it, if it goes out of bounds, ah. you can't run. You have to stay in your same spot. He moved. They give the ball to White. Sometimes it's a warning, but they elected to give the ball to uh, the Conquerors there. All right. So Delhay is going to get two shots after the quick foul there. And that's the first. 
in and out, no good. Delhey scores! 29 points for Nolan Delhey. Answer on the other side. It's what will happen when you run that full court. I don't know how we did not get the call there, but. Ball. I mean, Dan Fontana ain't a happy camper over on the other sideline. All right, we've got five subs coming in for the Conquerors. Tim Batrell, uh, Levi McGovern, and so those two are returning. And we've, we're seeing first Conquerors minutes from Thomas Knowles, and we got a technical foul. No, we got a timeout. Technical foul on Coach Dan Fontana. Not a good look. Barking at the ref. Picks up a tee. I really don't know why you have to. <laughs> it's point it's one of those things where you're, you're looking at the coach. I get it. You might not like some fouls. It is 82 to 62. I think there's a point where you're just like, okay, it's fine. Yeah. I mean, you bark and you bark and you bark and you're going to pick up a tee. It is not a good look. It's not good for the game of basketball. Free throw good. I mean, it's 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 just it's just a boneheaded move. It really is. Yeah. It's oh, it got it! After after bad luck in the first half, I mean, that's honestly a welcome sight. It's a welcome and sight. The crowd getting into it. We're gonna go back to that technical Appreciating foul. Appreciating their team, working hard. Here's what happened on that technical. You saw the the ref was hearing it from Dayspring, and finally he'd had enough. He turned around and gave him the tee. I mean. Caleb Rich, touch on the ball. <laughs> Chris uh, took a step. A few steps. Christopher Schrack is a sophomore. He jumped in a plane from the land of Cambodia yes, halfway across the world to join the Conquerors this year. Thomas Knowles from Porter, he's seeing first action on the season. Pass. White basketball. Let's get Thomas Knowles a mid-range J. McGovern running We're the point. see some open looks from these freshmen. <laughs> right through the legs of a trail. Christopher Schrock playing the heavy defense. Four, three, put it in. Dayspring does this. Some uh, ugly basketball, to say the least. It's a melee and it's going to Dayspring. We'd love to see Knowles just pull that shot. Why not? It's always fun seeing people getting first minutes. And here comes Dayspring. Timonen. Jacob Timonen with the ball. Ready for the buzzer beating three. It's in. That was Kaden Kahara, a junior guard, with the exclamation point. Well, the Conquerors fell tonight, 88 to 64. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this about that score. You're looking, oh, we lost by 24. It was not, it was about 16 when the 
when they decided to pull the subs and bring them in. So we're going to go. The Conquerors were, 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 were not out, outclassed. They just they couldn't make the shots, really. Yeah, shot making. Last, we saw a lot of threes made against Concordia, and then tonight just broke. But you'll have that. And then, of course, the, yeah, you'll have those nights. And the limited action we saw from Nolan Dele did hurt him a bit, but you've got to be able to learn to combat that. That's twice now that he hasn't played significant minutes in a game, and it's really hurt the Conquerors. Yeah. As they gather in the middle of the court for a prayer before Dayspring heads out. We want to thank Dayspring for making the trip down as our fantastic crew is punching the numbers. We'll have those for you here in just a little bit. It's time for our daily shout outs presented by Rough and Tough Lawn Care. We're going to take a break here for the prayer. Right after that, we will go into the um, post game festivities. got our full-time stats here. We will read those off to you in just a second. Give us about 30 seconds, and me and Alec will join you for our half uh, post-game show. Thank you. It's ready for our post-game shout-outs. We'd like to thank Edmund Schrock and Sam Wiegens, who helped us keep score up here. Kayla Moody, all of the work he does with the camera. We cannot thank him enough. And then our clock keeper, Lyle Geist, former Conqueror, and Mike Warren, keeping the official book down below. Again, a thank you to all you have watched. We're going to go through our uh, post-game stats. Daniel Adams finished with 13. 35 from Henry, Henry Hostetler. And then we're going down here, eight from Bryce Rehoff, eight from Caleb Murray, and then the rest scored about two or three each. Now for Fairhaven, Joshua Peel finished with eight. Joel Zadarski finished with 11. 11 also from Joe Patrell, three from Brennan Fry, and two from Levi McGovern. The Conquerors played well, couldn't combat the injury to Nolan Delhe, but he scored 29 points in limited action for the Conquerors. He is again gonna be our rough and tough lawn care player of the game, game, making lawns great again. Alec, I mean, it's just one of those things. It's a game of runs, and the Conquerors fell short on a second half run. 14 to two to start the half, it's hard to beat that. Yeah, the story of the game though, Nolan coming back, and then the resiliency of the Conquerors. When you get down big, it's, it's easy to just roll over and just, just play out the rest of the game, but they fought hard. Nolan Delhay just coming back and fighting through the injury, putting up some good minutes, 29 points. It was good to see that from them. So I think the Conquerors could take away some good things. A, a very good effort on defense. I saw a lot of sh shutdown players. Had Hostetler was shut down for a little bit. Very good defense on him. And um, I think Coach can be pleased with the game, and they'll have some good talking points going into practice. Yeah, he will. And, and, Nate, and Nathan, Nate Spooner is a good coach. He's going to know what to say. We got um, a break now for Christmas, and we're not going to see the Conquerors again on this court till early January. We'll have Fairhaven play Crown here at home. And then we'll end the year, as always, with our favorite game of the year. It's the Fairhaven Baptist College Conquerors against the Fairhaven alumni team. Always a fan favorite. We have a lot of fun. Me and Alec will bring you both of those games. Our next coverage of Conquerors Basketball and Fairhaven Media is going to be a debut for Fairhaven High School Basketball. They play early next month. We'll be able to bring you that game. Alec's actually going to be playing for the high school team. We'll see how they do. But as we tie a bow on it, the Conquerors fall 88-64. to They played well. And Coach Spooner yeah. is obviously going to be a little disappointed with the turnout, 
but you saw leadership from Nolan Delhay and the yeah. Conquerors, they'll just have to knock down the shot. So over Christmas break, they're going to have to, you know, work on shooting. And, and if not, and, and after they do that, it's going to be a good second semester of Fairhaven Baptist College Conquerors basketball. Thanks for watching. Alec Mitchell, thank you so much for all your hard work. Finally, it's Luke Armacost saying so, thank you so much for watching to Fairhaven Media's coverage of Conquerors basketball.